Silver Grecian runs at Mooney Valley on Saturday. Was it just a case of the track being too firm for him last time? Yeah, I mean, you know, it was a uh, hard two, so you know, it was a bit hard and just really didn't let down the last 400 metres. Um, where, you know, Darren gave him a perfect ride and I uh, was expecting him to run a lot closer than that. Super fit horse. Um, we did some light, easy work with him today over a thousand metres and uh, with the new gear with a shadow roll on. Um, worked really well, but f the shadow roll on first time was a little, a little slightly hesitant at the start. So we're actually probably going to do another gear change now and put um, just run him with a ring bit and a tongue tie, which he, uh, when he came to Hong Kong, that's the gear he used to have. So I just want him to be super confident in the race rather than uh, a bit hesitant with the new gear because he does get his head a bit high. So uh, essentially we wanted to take off the cross nose band and get a uh, shadow roll just to get his head down a bit more. But uh, as I said, I want, I want the horse to be a, a, he's a real fit horse and I want him to go into the race uh, confident and not thinking about that uh, extra gear he's, he's got on. He's had a month between runs, was that always the plan? Uh, you know, it, it just worked out that way in terms of the racing schedule. and, the, and the, we, we could have run him uh, with a uh, mighty high on, on the Saturday in one of the handicaps or the torque. But, uh, you know, it's worked out well. He's a fresh horse. We wanted to keep him fresh. You know, mighty high. Um, you know, might have had that, you know, these Hong Kong horses don't have too many starts. Uh, as I said, mighty high, only, he only has five or six starts in a year. And uh, he, we wanted to keep this horse a bit more fresh. Uh, we trialled him at Flemington on the Friday just to uh, get a bit more fitness into him. Got his blood report back yesterday, which was uh, all good and very happy with that. And uh, as I said, just uh, light work today just to turn him over. We went uh, 54 over the 800 and very happy with him. Just that slight gear change, we're going to go back and uh, you know they've got that fast pace over here. So the cross nose band's not really necessary anymore. Drawn seven, where would you like to see him in the run? He's going to go back like he usually does, probably sit in seven or eight, six, six, seven, eight around there. Hopefully, two off the fence. Uh, good news about drawing seven is we're not going to be, be caught on the fence. You should get a nice run. Um, so if you, I haven't actually looked at the horse, the other horses in the race and where they're drawn, but hopefully we've got a bit of speed in the inside, so we can slide in nicely right somewhere around midfield. Mooney Valley is a tricky track. How do you think he'll handle it? You know, he's a small, compact horse. He's not overly big. I think he's agile enough to get around the corners without any problems. The uh, different surface over there, the uh, Stratia or whatever it's called, that surface over there, uh, it's going to be a lot softer. European horse it should handle the surface a lot better. Uh, as I said, the uh, the first run we were, we were you know, if it, it was a four or five, he, we would have really let down the straight, which, you know, he's got that really turn, good turn of foot, which we haven't actually seen yet. And uh, expect him, you know, he's cut back, he's trimmed up a lot. He was a bit fat in his first run, he lost a bit of weight, and, and uh, you know, he's doing really well over here. So. After Saturday, does he head to the Emirates? Well, you know, his, his rating points are around, what, 98 now. Last year was, I think, 100, and uh, the year before was 95. So we're right, you know, to guarantee he goes in the Emirates, he, um, he's going to have to finish in the top three for a guarantee. But if, if he doesn't uh, get in, I'm sure uh, we'll, we'll find him another race on Oaks Day or something. But uh, pretty confident he's going to get in the race with his current rating. Mighty high, how did he pull up from the Caulfield Cup? You know, he's pulled up great, he's eating all his feed. Uh, we went thoroughly over and we scoped him and it was perfect and and his joints are 100% and, you know, it's a bit, scratch your head a bit, I think. You know, he went to the front, even though it was a slow pace. Uh, um, you know, right when he changed his leg, he, he seemed like he just didn't let down at all and uh, blood came back like it was just flat. Uh, you know, white blood cell count and everything was 100%. Um, and he's got you know no problems in that respect. I think he just you know we probably pushed him a little bit too hard early just to get that extra fitness in him because he only worked well we only raced in May so we we, we you know he's a you know, he's the type of horse that you know Silver Grish when we can put as much work in him as possible and he's fine. This horse is a bit you know, you, you want to you don't want to push him too hard too early as I said he only gets about six starts a year. So um, we're just you know giving him a lot of fluids. Uh, we took a blood the other day and, uh, you know, came back not that bad, just a little bit flat. I'm going to take another blood on Friday and compare him. And uh, if his blood starts improving, which I'm um, about 95% sure it will, uh, we should be fine for the Melbourne Cup. We'll probably have a nice three-quarter pace gallop on the Thursday before the Melbourne Cup. Just keep him super fresh. And, uh, you know, we, we just, you know, worked him every day. We didn't even give him a day off on Sunday. And, and I think that, uh, you know, Corfield Cup just, you know, just didn't, didn't really, there was just too many starts in, in that month. 
but I'm happy with the horse. He's pulled up great, and we had the vet, as I said, thoroughly go over him. He couldn't find anything wrong with him other than it's just, you know, his blood showing white. Uh, well, his, his hemoglobin levels are a little flat, so other than that, yeah, I'm happy with him.